Hey, I know what the paperwork said. I read it. Well, I didn't read it. I watched the video when Jake put out the video, so I saw all the important stuff that needed to be seen, just like everybody else did. But ain't it crazy? Like, let me just ask y'all guys who keep putting out this snitch paperwork. Well, this ain't to justify the snitching, but just let me ask y'all a question. What's your end game? Like, what's your end goal? You got people like 1090, Said and Nash. I rock with Said and Nash. Like, me and Said and Nash ran a couple conversations through Inbox. And sometimes I get his take on certain things to see am I, am I tripping or if I'm right or wrong. But anyway, uh, because I feel like he more one of, like, the educated dudes when it comes to the content and the street side of the content. He called himself a hood lawyer. So he's pretty smart. I rock with him. AK, I watch him just to see what he going to say sometimes because... A lot of the stuff that he say I disagree with uh, 65 to 70 percent of the time because he's not speaking from a biased point of view. He kind of like he want everything what he's saying to be fact, and he kind of wants you to agree with it. 1090, on the other hand, like when I started watching 1090 a couple years ago, like four five years ago when he first started doing videos, he told prison stories. He talked about jail, his experience with that, and I ain't gonna lie, like it he. This ain't, I mean, the paperwork stuff and talking about crimes and shit like that, he always done it. But when he figured out that the niche for his page and his algorithm was to talk about rap, rappers being snitches, he took that and ran with it. And that right now, I feel like eventually that's going to get somebody hurt, bro. Might even get you hurt. Because now you going at people who got way more money than you. So it ain't even about what's true and what's false at this point. It's about who got the most power. So just know when you doing this stuff now, if you ain't got money to go to war, go back to the videos and you just talking about crime stories in general instead of it seeming like you making certain people a target because right now it seems like you going straight at rappers to try to expose rappers. And I don't feel like that's cool. Like I said, that's not to justify anything as far as the snitch allegations and the paperwork because the proof is in the pudding. But if this stuff is old, why is it relevant to right now? The paperwork you just put out today on QCP, that's from like 10, 11, 12 years ago. And we don't even know if this guy is really a street dude or if he a regular civilian. I'm a civilian. So I'm going to just be real. I'm going to say this. Man, the game, it's chess, not chess. Me being a civilian, whatever I gotta do to get you after you fuck me over and it work in my favor, I'ma do that. And I don't care what the street feel about it. You can tell, I'm, I'm, I'ma play smart with what I feel like is a smart move for me to get myself out of the situation. If we talking about civilian people versus street people. So when you post this paperwork and you talk about Something that happened 10, 11, 12 years ago, and these guys going off in their careers and they multi millionaires now, they done put that stuff behind them. It's kind of like a dog in the backyard digging up old bones. What's the reason? It ain't no reason. This stuff right here kind of like just gonna get somebody hurt. That's just my personal opinion because you went from talking about just regular stories in general to now it's like all the rappers you trying to expose all the rappers or like the multi-millionaires or just industry people and i don't feel like they're cool man especially this stuff old oh, second point being like when you do stuff like that to make what i'm saying make sense when you do that type of stuff like that jake it may look good on the internet for views and likes and clicks and all that stuff like that it may do good for the algorithm of what all this stuff is about as far as content on the phones and shit in the YouTube world, the media world. But the people that you're talking about, they got to go back home. They got to face what you're telling the world. They got to go home and face that. But when the, when the camera's turned off, but like on some behind the scenes type shit. So how many situations you think you then brought back up and made relevant when they was dead based on you just dropping information that ain't nobody even asking you about and you can say they come to me in my inbox well they come to you and your inbox fans and stuff like that come to you in your inbox and talk about this stuff no one's saying no not to go research it but if i was in your shoes dude i would research this stuff and 
I would be the one that feel good on knowing that I got that type of work on somebody and only I got it right now, then putting it out to the world to try to make them look bad. Especially if I don't got money to go to war like that. Because it, eventually that's what this is gonna be side up to be like. You will blackball yourself by doing this type of stuff because you don't got the money to keep going. You man, we ain't gonna just sit up and cap like you got millions and millions. You probably made a few bands, no no pocket watch and shit, but you two probably got y'all guys living good, but you guys are not millionaires. So when you get to coming at millionaires, you just gotta make sure you got millions of dollars. Because these guys don't care about YouTube. This is your main source of income. A YouTube check for them, they probably break that shit down and give it to their kids. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Am I tripping? Uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. It's T-Ray TV. I'm out.